let me tell you guys something about uh, pirating video games, okay? Nowadays, there aren't any demos for games, okay? I can't test out and see if I want a game by playing a little demo, seeing if I like the gameplay or the features of the artwork or anything like that. No, 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 no. I gotta, I gotta sit there and I gotta watch either someone else who bought it play it or I gotta watch some shitty trailer telling me how great it is and how everything's just so interesting. Shit I've heard 10,000 times over from every other video game, okay? There's a reason why I pirate video games and that's because I want to try the video game before I buy it, all right? There's a reason why people pirate video games. And it's not necessarily just for uh, not paying for the game or anything. I'm sure you got a few assholes out there that, that enjoy a video game all the way to completion and 100% and everything and never pay a cent for it. But the large majority of people, the people who actually do uh, enjoy video games, understand that giving money to the developer for a game that they enjoy will actually help more games come out or even patches for the current game that they enjoy to come out, okay? When you stop people from pirating games entirely, not only are you alienating a potential fan base, but you're putting a massive wall between people who want your game and people who uh, kind of want the money for your game, okay? There's, there has to be a gray area. It can't be black or white. You can't say, look at game. It is best game ever. Really? Can I look at game? Can I try it? No. Fuck you. You'll never be able to play this game. Not until you fork over every single penny for it right now. But I, I, I want to make sure that it's something that I can enjoy. No. No demos for you. No trailers for you. No. Nothing. No. No. And then that's also a serious problem with early access nowadays is because, oh, hey, look, you're going to pay $15, $20 for a game that you're only going to get a few hours of enjoyment out of, not to mention constant recycled game mechanics. I'm sick and tired of it. All right. There's a reason why I pirate games, and it's because no one will let you try games anymore. The small amount of people that let you try games are some of these really really indie devs, like indier than indie devs, okay? You go on Steam or any other website and look for game demos and stuff. It's games you've never, ever even heard of. Stuff that's never even been on the front page. I, I, I'm sick of it. And now you have this serious issue coming up with Windows 10 for those unfortunate people that really did download that piece of shit, all right? Windows 10 is going to update your games for you even if it's pirated. Now, that sounds great and everything like that, but it's going to detect if your game is pirated and keep you from playing it if it knows it's not a legit copy. What is that? Not to mention they're also going to be doing things with your hardware, too. So if you have uh, hardware that, that isn't accepted by Microsoft standards for your own rig, if you customize it yourself, you won't be able to use that hardware properly because Microsoft... Oh, you, you agreed to our user agreement. You can't do any of these bad things with our OS. Oh, ooh, no, fuck you, Microsoft. I've been using you for fucking years, all right? And there are tons of people that have been switching over to Linux and doing all this other kind of crap. But no, no, I'll stick with my really shitty Windows 8, all right? The only reason why anybody, anybody uses Windows is so they don't have to fuck around with DirectX. That's it. There's no other reason other than uh, uh, some casual people just want to buy a computer and it just works. And they don't want to deal with any codes. They want to clicky click, look at all their cat videos and everything on YouTube. But me, on the other hand, I want to make sure I can play fucking video games. All right? So when you are coming out with a new OS and you're like, hey, everybody, look, it's a new DirectX. You're going to be able to play all these new great games and all this other kind of bullshit. Oh, man, that's great. Awesome. Hey, but we're going to look at every single video game you've ever fucking downloaded and all the hardware that you have installed and you won't be, you, you won't be able to play something unless we let you play something. No, fuck you, Microsoft. Fuck you. All right? If I don't want to download an update for a game, I don't have to. All right, I have the option of disabling that. Not to mention, you're also doing all this other bullshit where you keep track of every single move that we do. 
Oh yeah, there's videos of it. There's proof. There's WebMs. There's GIFs. There's a whole bunch of shit out there where just clicking the start menu, for Christ's sake, sends information from my computer to your servers about what my account is doing. You don't need to know that information. You don't need to know all of my contacts. You don't need to know what I've been looking up. You don't need to do jack shit with my computer. I used your OS. All right, I get it. You gave me the. You're giving people the OS for free. That's a small price to pay for for your privacy. No, f you're a fucking idiot. All right, this is your privacy. Have some dignity as a human being. Do not give in to it. Don't. Who cares if the OS is free? All right, you were probably gonna pay for it when it came out with a fucking paywall anyway. And then they're bragging, 65 million people downloaded, they possibly couldn't be wrong. Of course they could be fucking wrong. Alright? There's tons of people out here that always, that always bitch about what president and shit like that's being elected. Well, guess what? The only person, the only reason why that person got into a fucking office is because he was voted for. All those people were apparently wrong in your opinion, right? If all those people can, can be wrong about that stupid shit, then they could be wrong about an OS. I just want to enjoy video games and even Microsoft is stepping in, stepping in front of me and telling me, no, you can't play these games. Fuck you. All right. I don't need, I don't need you to tell me what I can and can't play. All right. I get it. All right. The developer needs money. And I'm the kind of guy that if I enjoy a video game, especially when I pirate it, I'm going to give them my money, even if I beat it. All right, because I, because in the way I see it is, is if I enjoy a fucking video game, then I'm going to give them money for it because that'll mean that they'll either improve the game or come out with sequels that are even better. And if I like the game, then I want to see sequels. All right. But Microsoft, maybe you should express the idea. Hey, guys, maybe if you guys came out with more demos and stuff like that, people could try out your games and you won't have to pirate it as much. Hell, when's the last time you heard about a bunch of pirating that happened in the PS2 games? I mean, aside from the limitations for, uh, for, for internet access back in the day and stuff like that. Remember getting demo disc in the mail and, uh, with your magazines and stuff like that? Look at all these awesome games you could try. Look at all these trailers and everything. Everyone, despite, despite not being able to afford those games, still got hyped up for those discs. And it wasn't just because it was free things to play, because there were new ideas, new new worlds and things like that to look at. There's it's awesome new games. Look at all these new games. Look at all this stuff that I can get hyped up for. Look at the stuff that I can try and maybe be excited to buy later or put on a Christmas list. No, you can't even do that shit anymore. No, I'm not complaining about there not being this. I'm complaining about there being uh, no, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's There's no care in the world by any of these people on... Whether or not uh, we get to enjoy the video games the way we want to. They don't care. And it's just a, a, a big load of shit. So, so Microsoft, uh, I already disabled all of my auto updates and everything for Windows 8. I already have good virus protection, so I don't need your help anymore. Good, goodbye, Microsoft. Uh, I'm, I'm not fucking with Windows 10. I never will fuck with Windows 10. I don't care how many DirectXs you come out with after this because your user agreements and, and your policies as of late have been absolutely fucking terrible. And what you tried to pull with the Xbox One years ago, way back when it was first announced with the always online DRM and everything, you, you, guys, are, you guys are a joke. I don't care how many billions of dollars that you have. You guys really screwed up and it's it's disgusting it's like you people are completely disconnected from any of your user base whatsoever it's it's terrible whatever this has been baboom later